Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will discuss folic acid or folate deficiency. I will discuss its dietary sources, biochemical action, causes of deficiency, clinical manifestation, diagnosis and treatment. Folic acid is included in the vitamin B group. Dietary sources of folic acid include green vegetables, fruits, meat, liver, kidney, nuts, cereals, beans, peas, cheese, and yeast. Folic acid is easily destroyed during cooking and heating. Now, dietary folate are in polyglutamated forms. These are hydrolyzed to simple folate and are absorbed primarily in the proximal small intestine by a specific carrier-mediated system. Now, the biochemical actions. In the body, folic acid is converted to biologically active folates. These are reduced to tetrahydrofolate in a process which is catalyzed by the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase. And these serve as one carbon donors and acceptors in many biosynthetic pathways. Folic acid is also essential for DNA replication and cellular proliferation by participating in the synthesis of purine, pyrimidines, nucleoproteins and methyl groups. Now the causes of folic acid deficiency. These include inadequate dietary intake, ingestion of goat's milk, malabsorption such as celiac disease, chronic infectious enteritis, enteroenteric fistulas or previous intestinal surgery. Deficiency may also occur in condition in which there is increased folate requirements such as rapid growth in infancy and childhood, chronic hemolytic anemia and pregnancy. Premature infants are also at increased risk of deficiency because they have low body stores of folate. Certain drugs may also result in folic acid deficiency. These include anticonvulsants, methotrexate, pyrimethamine and trimethoprene. In addition, folic acid deficiency is a manifestation of some rare inborn errors of folate transport or metabolism. These include hereditary folate malabsorption, functional methionine synthase deficiency, dihydrofolate reductase deficiency, and methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase deficiency. Now the clinical manifestation. In infants, there is usually paler, mild jaundice due to ineffective erythropoiesis. Tongue is usually smooth and beefy red. There is irritability and poor feeding. There may be chronic diarrhea and poor weight gain. In older children, symptoms include paler, paresthesia, weakness or an unsteady gait. Vibratory sensation and proprioceptions are decreased. Hemorrhages from thrombocytopenia may occur in advanced cases. Now, congenital folate malabsorption and other rare etiologies of folate deficiency may be further associated with hypogammaglobulinemia, severe infection, failure to thrive, neurologic abnormalities, and cognitive delays. Now, the laboratory findings. There is macrocytic anemia, that is MCV or mean carpocellar volume is increased. Reticulocyte count is low. On peripheral blood film, there are nucleated RBCs with megaloblastic morphology. There is also an isocytosis and poikilocytosis, that is variation in the size and shape of RBCs. Now, WBC count and platelet count are usually normal or there is mild deficiency, but neutropenia and thrombocytopenia may be present with long-standing and severe deficiency. Now, neutrophils are usually large and have hypersegmented nuclei. Serum indirect bilirubin levels may be slightly increased. Now, bone marrow is hypercellular because of erythroid hyperplasia and there are megaloblastic changes. Abnormal neutrophilic form that is the giant metamylocytes with cytoplasmic vacuoles may be present. Now, serum folic acid levels are less than 3 nanogram per ml and in chronic deficiency, RBC folate levels are also decreased. In folic acid deficiency, serum levels of iron and vitamin B12 are normal or elevated and serum activity of lactate dehydrogenase is markedly elevated. Now, treatment of folic acid deficiency is with folic acid which is given orally or parenterally at a dose of 0.5 to 1 mg per day for 3 to 4 weeks until a definite hematological response has occurred. Now, maintenance therapy with a multivitamin which contains 0.2 mg of folate is adequate. Now, folic acid should not be given in patients with megaloblastic anemia until a diagnosis of folate deficiency has been made. Folic acid is contraindicated in vitamin B12 deficiency. Now, very high doses of parenteral folate is given in case of hereditary folate malabsorption 
and folinic acid is given in methotrexate and pyrimethamine induced folic acid deficiency. Now blood transfusions are indicated only when there is severe anemia and the child is very sick. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.